It all started on a Tuesday in March. If George hadn't introduced me to Alice... Let's not do anything cheap and meaningless. Okay. What do I owe you? She hadn't been so spectacular. Maybe I wouldn't have gotten so loaded that night. Ten minutes. I'll be as good as new. None of this would have happened. Something's happened at the Magnoscopics facility in Santa Maria. Next thing I knew, I went from high profile to no profile. What have they done to me? Wait a minute, who are you guys? Keep your mouths shut, all of you. You're in a state of molecular flux. If you want to live, you're going to have to trust us. Where have you been? Everybody's looking for you. I'm here. Sort of. I want my molecules back! Now there's a price in my head. The single most exotic intelligence asset on the planet is ours. I don't sleep well. I can see through my eyelids, I can see through the top of my head. But I'll never sell out. Uh, think of the adventure we could have together. Uh, yeah, we can go to frontier land. Don't be afraid. It's me, Nick. You want to sit down? If not for Alice. <gasps> We're the only people that can give you your life back. I'd be lost forever. You have a face again. You don't have any body makeup, do you? Dropped about 10 pounds. But I'd look great naked. She saw me through it all. I got him. Chevy Chase. Morning. Morning. Daryl Hannah. Wait, how am I going to tell my mom about this? Just tell her you met a guy. Could be serious. He's transparent. Memoirs of an Invisible Man. A John Carpenter film. Evelyn tried food. Dad. I'm sorry, honey. The game's almost over. I just want to see a little bit of it. She tried romance. If I'd answered the door wearing only cellophane, would you still be watching the baseball game? No, honey. I'd probably be checking you into a loony bin. What we really need is an assertiveness training class for Southern women. But that's a contradiction in terms, isn't it? Uh, I was waiting for that space. Face it, lady, we're younger and faster. Then... Hey! She met a new friend. Mrs. Cleo Threadgood, 82-year-old widow. Imagine that. <laughs> a good friend. I hate candy bars all over the house. What a candy bar ain't gonna hurt you, none. What? No, but it's 10 or 11. Who gave her some advice. You need some hormones. <laughs> and told her a story that began long ago. Does the name Izzy Threadgood ring a bell? No, ma'am. I don't think so. You'd remember her. Izzy and her friend Ruth ran the Whistle Stop Cafe. Izzy was a character, all right. You! If you ever touch her again, I'll kill you. Well, I sure as hell scared him, didn't I? But how anybody could have thought she murdered that man is beyond me. You ain't fooling me, girly girl. You in a whole mess of trouble. You understand? Did anybody really think she did it? Some said yes, some said no. Academy Award winner, Kathy Bates. Well, I got mad, and it felt terrific. A wonder. A wonder. And Academy Award winner, Jessica Tampi. How many of them hormones you taking, honey? You didn't kill Ed now, did you? Not yet. I feel better because all these people will live as long as you remember. Friends. Best friends. Yes, ma'am! What are you doing? Face it, girls. I'm older and I have more insurance. Hey, the night's young. This is Sergeant Murtaugh. Threat or scare? It's a real thing. Where's the bomb squad? They're on the way. Good. 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 Everything's under control. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Roger, I think we ought to check this out. Hey, 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 hey Reese. What? The bomb squad's on the way. There's no bomb in there. You 
know how come I know there's a bomb in the building? How? Because I got eight days to retirement, and I will not make a stupid mistake. There is no bomb in that building. I will bet vital time to my anatomy to the fact. Now, look. Just, just, just look. Trust me, okay? That's usually my first mistake. <laughs> Gibson, Danny Glover, in a Silver Pictures production of a Richard Donner film, Lethal Weapon 3. We're back! Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. Hey, listen, listen. Yeah. You think I could get a gun this time? No. I had the dream again. It's not a dream. The Saab 900. An exhilarating 16-valve fuel-injected engine, an aircraft-inspired cockpit, catalytic converter, and ABS braking all fitted as standard on the Saab 900 model, which starts at just 13,995 pounds. From the makers of the Saab range, the 900, the 9000 CS, and the 9000 CD, a range renowned for its award-winning active and passive safety, comes your chance to win a Saab 900 convertible. I think this is crazy. This, this is crazy. Answer these three questions correctly and your dream car might become a reality. Question one. In the film you're about to watch, Richard Gere plays the part of a highly qualified psychologist. He drives a convertible from the Saab range. Is it the Saab 9000 CS? the Saab 9000 CD, or the Saab 900? Please make a note of your answer. Question two. The top car in the Saab range is named after the creature which features in the Saab Scania logo. Is it a lion, a griffin, or an eagle? Please make a note of your answer. Question three. This car, the Saab 900, has a particularly high specification. Which of these is the correct starting price? 13,895 pounds, 13,995 pounds, or 14,125 pounds? Got them all? Just phone 0891 101 090 or call in at your local Saab dealer for an entry form. You'll find the address in your yellow pages. Every week, you'll have the opportunity to win an elegant ladies' or gentlemen's rotary watch. Every month, there's a chance to win a superb Grundig radio cassette. And in the final analysis, you could win a beautiful Saab convertible. The competition closes on January the 9th, 1993. You always try to talk yourself out of what you want. Don't talk yourself out of a chance to win any of the superb prizes. Simply visit your local Saab dealer or phone 0891 101 090 with your correct answers. In the final analysis, a brand new Saab convertible could be yours. This film has been classified 15, which means it's unsuitable for anyone younger than that. It's an offense for a shop to supply a 15 video to anyone below that age. 15 films may have a fairly adult theme or contain scenes of sex, violence or drugs which, while not particularly graphic, are unsuitable for younger teenagers. They may also contain sexual swear words.